Please put your hands together for Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, yeah. It's Kegs and Egg. What's Kegs and Egg? It's St. Paddy's Day, but for yeah. Albany. <laughs> Syracuse New York right now. Yeah, about to do Beyond a show. Center, yeah. yeah, this is the way to do comedy. Yeah, this is the way to do comedy, baby. Come on. Please put your hands together for Jimmy Fallon. some guy doing a cannonball through a flaming table. He was the mayor of Syracuse. So good. There's so many good bits. So you destroyed. I mean, that's, because that, that Bon Appetit was, I mean, truly, like, you were murdering really so hard that I was like, I was like, oh my God. Dude. Like, I'm gonna have to, because that first joke's a story. So I'm like, I mean, I gotta get them to calm down. Like, I was like, oh, I, we I was like, about, it was like we true. Just, we just talked We were just talking about an hour ago, like, following somebody that kills really hard. Yeah. And they, and like, just how, like, it. you gotta learn, you gotta get them in your rhythm. I didn't ever expect to do that on my own show. <laughs> <laughs> and you could tell that the dinner. Hey, Steven, you can bring them back here. Yeah. Uh, He's got his parents. His parents? I'm out here, dude. Yeah. Oh, it's him. Yeah. I can't smile. Yeah, you gotta lie to lie. You gotta, what are you gonna say to him? You gotta lie to the face. You gotta lie about the boy <laughs> and go, yeah, he's gonna make it. <laughs> if he gets out of comedy. What are we gonna say? <laughs> Did you, That's pretty you good. Go yeah, you go up. Yeah. Did you do time tonight? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's cool, man. Sorry, I'm busy taping. That's his mom and dad. That's his mom and dad. You know the one you want to get on but not going to. Yes. <laughs> 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 Crush. <laughs> Crush. <laughs> Mom and dad? Yeah, this is mom and dad. Oh, how are you all? Goodness. Jimmy. Yeah. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. My dad, Ray. My mom, Michelle. It's great, to, nice it's great to see you live. Yeah. Thank you. Thank hey, you very yeah. much. Jimmy. Hey, nice to see you. Pleasure. Fever Pitch. Uh, One of my yeah. favorite movies. Yeah. That was, that's how I met my wife. She produced that movie. Really? Yeah. That was, I mean, out of all the fun things that came out of the movie, that was. I watched it. Did I text you that? I watched it recently. It was on HBO. I swear, it's very fun. It's just fun. It's yeah. fun and it's okay. It's like fun and like, so it's like when you watch it, it's like fun. And it's like, it's it's very fun. The, the thing about it was, you know, they weren't supposed to win at the end. You know, the, no, yeah. you had a, the original ending was supposed right? to be uh, Drew and I and like old makeup like and a, watching them win in the future. And then as we were there, the whole thing happened. The, the bloody sock, yeah. all the stuff happened. They got the wild card, they got in. It was the first time they won in 86 years, so yeah. we reversed the curse. That's crazy. And Boston was so great, but they had um, they had a lot of spirit there. But I remember um, when we were driving through Boston, like the, the day, week after, 
all the cemeteries had like baseball hats and pennants oh, on, on the graves because their, their grandparents never saw the wind yeah, yeah, yeah. ever 86 years yeah. and it was like it was, it was just a beautiful thing and that's so it ended up being like we're filming as they were doing it and so we kind of went over budget because they thought the movie was going to be over. Yeah. Like, we didn't think we were going to make the playoffs. And they're like, you, you guys are still here? Yeah. You know, filming this movie. And we're like, well. So all that's real, like yeah. filming, is it y'all really watching it? Y'all get to sit and watch the game? Yeah. We, well, we would go in, I would have, of course, I'm wearing full makeup, yeah. standing in the dugout, you know, and then some relief pitcher will come in, like, throwing his glove and yeah. kicking stuff. And it's like, <laughs> don't make eye contact. Don't make uh, You're wearing okay. lipstick. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, and then I remember we went to. Uh, we flew ourselves to St. Louis just in case they won the World Series. Yeah. Uh, and it was a Fox movie, so we asked Fox if we could use their uh, one of their cameras during the World Series. Like, you just film Jimmy and Drew in in the crowd just to show that they're at the game. Don't put them on TV, but just yeah, you know, yeah. So they go, what do I do if they if the Sox win? Do I run on the field? And they go, do whatever you think a Red Sox fan would do. And go, I would run on the field. So when they won, I went to just run on the field and everyone just kind of let me just run. So, I, so I'm on the field now. So I, I, Drew and I start kissing or we hug or something, you know, at the end of the movie, you know, uh, you know, and uh, they put us on television. Wow. And everyone's like, wait, I don't understand what's going on. Is Jimmy <laughs> Fallon and Drew Barrymore dating? Like, are they Red Sox? Yeah. Yeah. That's and then I that up on MLB tonight, the other night. Uh, one of the, I can't remember who it was, but he was a side, he was a reporter on the sideline. Yeah. And he was doing that game at the end, and they were talking about the World Series. All of a sudden, he looks over, and you and Drew yeah. were right there. Yeah. And he goes, no. Why is. Yeah, he goes, I didn't even know they were a thing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We're not. We're not a thing. Back no one. But it, we all didn't the, know the movie. We knew the whole, we knew all the whole team. So I remember Jason Veritek, the catcher, came up to us like, Jimmy, we won. We won. And I go, I'm not Jimmy. I'm. Ben, <laughs> I'm a big Red Sox yeah, fan, yeah. and in this reality of my movie, I'm acting and whatever, yeah. but it was just a super blast, and uh, I, I also remember, like, when they won, they didn't just scream, like, uh, we won, like, they just started kind of crying, uh, yeah. and they're calling, like, hey, Dad, Whoa. we did it, you know, but it was like a major yeah. deal, it was a real <laughs> game changer for, for Boston, I mean, 86 years of just losing, yeah. and so much torture, so much depression, it really makes a, char a good character yeah. out of you. A Boston yeah. fan is a tough yeah. character. Oh, yeah. And to do that, I'm like honored. I think I might be the only New Yorker that's kind of. Yeah. They yeah. liked well, in Boston. Yeah. They go, yeah, he's all right. He can come in here. But <laughs> we were friends with the cops, and everyone was so nice to us. We, they took care of us in Boston. We go to the North End and Man. just didn't play. We had like, we would just stay there. I remember the first couple times I went to the games, they're like, Jimmy, boo, you suck. You're a Yankee <laughs> fan. You're a Yankee fan. You're like, yeah. And then as they started winning the playoffs, they're like, Jimmy, it's my wife Linda. <laughs> you know, just getting to know each other. It's like it was. It was a magical deal. It was a magical. Did y'all have the same seats? Yeah. Did you go? Oh, so y'all would go like ticket. Like you just. So there's not a camera. So maybe like the second inning, we would come yeah. and do our scenes. Yeah. So we do our scenes, we watch a couple of things, and we say, do our dialogue, whatever we're mic'd up. Is the camera far away? No, I was great seats. I had like, yeah. it was so insane, dude. I would like ha kind of hang out in Fenway Park like it was like this. I would just this walk the, around. This is the key to write a movie. Like, yeah, write, write a movie, a movie where like, you want to hang out. Yeah. I need the Red to go World Series tickets. I used to go like in, in the Green Monster, hang yeah. out. Yeah. I knew all the security guards there, they were just, it, 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 honestly, the whole thing was like surreal. And it <laughs> hang out, and then I would hang out and get to know her, and we'd listen to music and hang out. And then when the movie was done, we were selling it. She was like, uh, "I go, hey, I miss you." She was like, "I miss you too." I'm like, "Do you want to just hang out and go out?" And here we are, 18 years later. That's so cool. We've been married for 16, and we're doing and uh, two kids. It was the best thing ever happened. I think it's a little more than Rick asked for. But... <laughs> yeah, did he even say anything? <laughs> barely mentioned him. You went over to the Did he barely mention him? Did you see Peeper Pitch? Yeah. Have you seen have that? Have you ever seen <laughs> Taxi with Queen <laughs> Latifah? Let me tell you this story about it. <laughs> that's, that's the where you get the end of the story. You're like, yeah, I don't know if he even brought anything. I don't know if he even mentioned this at all. Yeah. Uh, what was it like? Uh, uh, What's in supporting this guy? Whoa. Oh, it was a blast. Look at this. Look at where he's bringing us. Yeah. yeah. You never meet all the greatest people. It was funny. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to go change. Do you need to change or anything? Or you're fine. What are you going to change into? I'm going to 
gentlemen? Oh, like I golf, like more comfortable. That's not comfortable? You're wearing right. a sweatshirt. But these, and again, these are my show clothes, and I'm about to turn it off. And I'm going to be off for the rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really like it. See what you change into. It's that in different this, colors? It's this again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to wear this. When he comes out, I'm going to say, hey, Nate, you changed. Hey, I that's like not that. bad, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. What if I had a heart attack just now? That's, that's like my, my last joke. <laughs> How close are we sleeping Super scared. together tonight? Close. We're this close. So, like so your feet, feet, your feet we're going to be here. just. <laughs> your feet are here. <laughs> yeah. No, for, for real, it'll be like, I'll be like this with my head like this, and then it'll be about this much space, and then your head will be right here looking back at me. <laughs> for real. Is that right? Yeah. If you want, we can close and then the tomorrow thing, morning, or we can leave it open a little bit. I think we can leave it open. <laughs> yeah, right. open and then do we say it tomorrow morning, like, what you dream of that? I'll go, Jimmy. What you dream of that? And you go, <laughs> you go like this, you go, Jimmy. <laughs> 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 and then I'm going to just open my door like, go back to bed. Yeah, yeah. And we'll go, we'll guys, go to sleep. Go to sleep, man. I think show tomorrow. Do you think Nate's awake? I'm going to do an hour, Jimmy. You got 10 minutes to do Bon Appetit for guys. <laughs> We're, yeah. we're in underground yeah. tunnels yeah. in Syracuse, New York, because the, it gets so cold in the winter that they make tunnels so people can get from building to building without having to go outside. Hey, you want to tell me what to do? I'm Mike J. <laughs> no one tells Mike J what to do. Understand, loser? Uh, what's with some dance Dan ass? Sass. Dance ass. That's not a real name. Like okay. oh. Who's got a grabber? <laughs> What if you put a newspaper with burgers in the area that are yeah. unsolved? Yeah. Yeah. My fingerprints are You couldn't pick a better locker. They all know. Picked a better locker. Oh my god. Locker. That is the best, the best, best possible best locker. locker. Oh my god. Look, he doesn't even bother to have a lock. Like that opens, but then it also opens this way. Don't make. <laughs> they go. Oh my god. Apparently, if, if they have just stuff they don't know what to do with, they shove it in Dan's ass. That's great. Man. Man. You know, you know, Shove it in Dan's ass. <laughs> yeah, Dan's ass. No, Dan's ass. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do, you don't know what to do with it? <laughs> shove, shove it, shove it in Dan's, Dan's ass. ass. <laughs> there you go. Oh, man. Oh, Are you kidding? Ooh. Really? Oh, Jimmy, you gotta send your buddy a photo here. We got the cornhole. Oh, the Beatles. We got a Beatles uh, Can we hang out down here? They signed it. Oh my god, this is, that's a real sig signature. Yeah, it's real. Is there a Starbucks? Oh, here we go.
know how this works. Get something. You guys want? Yeah. You guys want nothing? Yeah. You guys want nothing? Yeah. <laughs> Who wants nothing? I'm, two, I'm driving. I'll take you. two nothings. Yeah. Two. <laughs> you got Here you go. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. Well, we kept this. We keep this plugged in. It's awesome. Where are we headed right now? Uh, <clears throat> all right. I'm, I'm seeing if everyone wants to do this. We're going to. Uh, my college, the College of St. Rose that I went to, uh, it's about 10 minutes away and it's actually, uh, it's officially going out of business. It's closing down. Um, Are you going to re, maybe, that, re, maybe re-enlist, they'll, uh, you'll keep them alive. I mean, no, I mean, I, I got a degree, but I, I dropped out of the school, but. It's, it's a, kind of embarrassing kind of to go back there, isn't it? Well, they dropped out as well. <laughs> 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 now you're just going to gloat? Yeah, we say, hey, now we have something in common. <laughs> Why couldn't they go out of business while I was yeah. in school? Yeah, like, then I wouldn't feel like a loser. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's going to be interesting. I haven't seen it in a while. And then maybe like a, we'll go to like a, a pub that I used to go to. They used to live above. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Let's go up to the apartment. Oh, See who's living there. And how do you like being on the Be Funny tour? Uh... So far, so good. I mean, I, I hope I'm invited back. We had a good night's sleep. Um, everyone, uh, he went. <laughs> he put a Bose speaker in the middle of the bunks that are all this close to it, and then he played the William Tell Overture at the maximum vol volume that a Bose speaker can do. It like at twelve, and it's the and I was. You never think in life, I'm going to be personally furious at Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> but I was furious. And It wasn't at 10 a.m. exactly. It was at 9.54, Jimmy. Yes. I picked a time that an alarm wouldn't go off. But then <laughs> when it was finally done, which probably was longer than I thought it was. Yeah, it was about when, six minutes. It was finally done, I answered my phone and I said, hello? <laughs> <laughs> Four minute phone ring, ringtone. And then uh, the whole time I was see, I'm like, he thinks I'm gonna wake up, and I'm not gonna wake up. <laughs> I'm not gonna give you the satisfaction. Yeah, I thought you were gonna open up your slide no. and look out. No, no, you didn't. Because that's it. what you wanted. I did. I yeah. pictured your dumb face out there being like, yeah, I was. I was ready to and do I'm it. like, I'm not giving him that. I was ready to do no. it. <laughs> and then you went back to bed. Oh yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Everyone else woke up. I would have woke up for Letterman. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, uh, we're here at the College of St. Rose. This is where I went to school. For Four years here in Albany, New York. Great school. Uh, I was a communications major. Uh, I dropped out with 13 credits, and uh, I was on late night. And I asked them if they would want to give me an honorary degree. They didn't offer it to me, and then uh, and they did. And I got my doctorate, Doctor of Humane Letters here. Uh, and I just found out that the school is now um, is it, they're going out of business. We're closing down. So what does that uh, mean for your degree? I have a fake degree. From a college that doesn't exist, so I have to really reevaluate life. Yeah, once they go to business, I think we can all get a degree from this thing, Rose. <laughs> Maybe that they'll do that on the way out, like yeah, going to yeah. business, everything must go. Yeah, Degrees, yeah. everything. But this is, I walked up and down this, well, I used to live uh, on Madison Avenue, uh, over by the Price Chapel over there, I lived above the Partridge Pub over here. Um, you go see that stuff. Let's go look at the stuff. Look at yeah, this is why I haven't been back in. It's got to be at least ten years, maybe. It's sooner than I thought. Man, I love those really It might be this. This might be my apartment. It might be. Oh, this is my living room up there. That's the pub, Partridge Pub. Do you remember the sidewalk, Brad? I remember the <laughs> sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. <laughs> I remember the sidewalk crack. They never changed it. That's the one thing that remained. Yeah. They kept saying the best sidewalks here. You got really excited. Yeah, I was. I was here for at least two years. Uh, 
But weirdly enough, I do remember, not as corny, but I remember we had our first big party here and I wrote a sign that said, there are no strangers here, just friends who haven't met yet. I thought that would like calm people down from like destroying our apartment. And, and it kind of worked, there was no fights, but I remember someone lit our stove and then took the handle off the stove to just mess with us. <laughs> it's like, why would you do that? <laughs> Yeah. Good vibes only. That was my, that's my penmanship. Should we go in? <laughs> Should we ring the doorbell? I don't think anyone lives here. Does somebody live here? You never know a college town. There's plants in the window upstairs. There's plants in the window upstairs. They have a, they have a thing. They ask this one of the names. Hey. How you doing, man? I just want to say hi. I'm Jimmy. I I used to live here. I used to live. I knew Jimmy. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry to scare you. Yeah. Uh, I used to live in this building. Yeah. When I used to go to school here in Albany. But I just didn't know if anyone lived here or anything like that. I just say what's up and give you Yo, good. that's crazy. Give you good vibes and say what's up, dude. I used, I used to totally. I partied here. I slept here. This was my home. This is my apartment. What? Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. What's your name? Naheem. Naheem, Jimmy. So Pleasure, man. man. Dude, I just want to say what? hi and wish you good vibes, dude. All right. I Yo. hope you have a great... You too, man. Have a great life, man. What? Yeah, I love that. Oh, wait. No, that's that's my house. I used to live here. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't live there. So I did, this is where you said... I should go apologize to those guys back there. I didn't live there. I, I lived here. I started my comedy career at the school at St. Joseph's Auditorium. I asked them if I could do an hour with my friend Frank Gentile, and I said, I'll pay you whatever I got to do. And they said, no, well, you can just do it. So I did it for all the kids around campus, and I worked on an hour set. We used to go to the laundry room every night and write on uh, do, do jokes. So I started my comedy career here at the College of St. Rose. This is where it started on Madison Avenue, St. Joseph's Hall. It's just school flag. <laughs> That's it right here. That's it. We always put that when you saw this, you know the St. Rose is in the house. <laughs> what was your mascot? What was it? That's the library, dude. You wanna go see? Should we? Yeah. Man, dude, this is the camp. It's a small camp. You probably play frisbee in the yard here. You play frisbee in the yard. Uh, I, would, I would like go in there, I had a, yeah. oh, this is so tri tripping me out, dude. I really haven't been here in 20 years, this is weird. What if every story is like, I didn't have a shirt when I was at the yeah. library. Yeah, I'm shirtless at the library. <laughs> God, I go, dude, give me some pants. <laughs> I go to the library, give me some pants right now. Uh, I lived alumni hall, in fact, that window, that bottom window there by the bike rack was my window. And I actually, I pulled cable out of another I saw there was a cable line, and so I, I, in the middle of the night, I went, ripped the cable off from where it was supposed to go, and spliced it, and then ran it through my window to get free cable. Oh yeah. wow! Because I thought I was so smart, and it worked. It worked. But I, now the school's going out of business. <laughs> That's when they started sending these emergency call boxes right around then. <laughs> stand here and yell <laughs> there is no box there's nothing you do you just stand here and yeah. you go hey I'm in trouble yeah. once you leave that pole buddy you yeah. got it coming you got, <laughs> the like pole is safety it, this, by the way the school is <laughs> yeah, okay. this, that was the cafeteria hey you got a Starbucks now <laughs> wait what yeah this place is doing all right no it's going out of business. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> Sorry. So were your friends only the workers here? <laughs> Unfortunately. Is that every, sad? Everybody you bring you're, up, you're, really you're like, no, one of my best friends was uh, the <laughs> priest, <laughs> the nuns, <laughs> the teachers, I think I the cooks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's a better sign to take a picture in front of me. Oh, yeah. Science hall, dude. I got to go up these steps because I, I remember, oh, my God. I've been up these steps so many times. steps felt like rocky to me. This felt like it was a hundred steps when I went to school here. It's what, ten steps? God. 
Uh, oh my gosh. I remember I was uh, dating a girl and I was waiting for her to come out of class and it was icy. And she came, she, I was gonna surprise her, she fell down these steps. <laughs> like, like, and it's not good steps to fall down. She went down like three or four of them. Dropped books and it was, it was kind of embarrassing. We never brought it up again, but. Okay. Drop out, boys. Thank you, St. Rose. Thank you for a great, uh, a great, a great career. I got started from the, from this oh, school right here. Was like, the athletic center used to work there. Uh, I used to like. His buddy used to work at the athletic center. <laughs> I remember this guy at this bar worked in the basketball team. He, I'm sorry, he played in the basketball team. He worked at this bar and he's a bouncer. And I went in, I had a fake ID. He took my fake ID. And I'll never forget, I thought it was so stupid, so I worked there, so I broke into his locker, I took his jersey, and I wore it around campus the next day. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, dude? How you doing? Good to see you, man. Oh, yeah, you like the number 18? Yeah, me too. It's cool. <laughs> Give me my ID. Why would you wrap me out and take my ID, you punk? Another shirt-stealing story by Jimmy Fallon in St. Rose. <laughs> This is it. This is where I got my start. Yeah. Yo, what's up? <laughs> I thought it was your family. Yeah, I was gonna say. That's where they were. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll just go to it. Up. Are you, you, you filming? Wow, this is, what, are you guys having a party? Yeah, yeah. it's Cags and Eggs. What's Cags and Eggs? It's St. Patty's Day, but for yeah. Albany. Yeah. I've never seen that. That was nuts, right? I mean, it was jam packed with people. I couldn't breathe in there. I lost you, man. I'm sorry. I couldn't find you. I couldn't breathe in there, dude. It was scary. It was like so tight. It was like insane. Oh, you couldn't move? Really? No, we were stuck. We were trapped. Like if there was a fire there, dude. I'm so old. What happened, Joe? That was easy. I, I stopped to check out, um, there was a strange crow. That oh nobody my, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> nobody was looking. And, uh... <laughs> Let's go back. Let's go back. Yeah, we should go back. That was yeah. fun. <laughs> All right, around the block. That was just one house. I'm going to call, yeah. call 911 now. We didn't try the other house. Yeah. <laughs> it seemed pretty cool next door. We turned right back down the road. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. We went to the wrong address. Sorry, yeah. guys. We meant to go yeah. to that backyard. Yeah. Down, uh, down the corridor, Dude. down past bedrooms, and then around the back in the backyard. They started charging $100 to go in. As soon as you walked as soon as in, you kids, walked were, in kids were paying guy to stood go in. in front and goes to $100 to go in. Kids were having to pay $100 to go in. Whoa. Girls could go in. Yeah, girls were just fine. Girls were allowed to go in. Yeah. yeah. 
Like, that's have you ever had anything like that? Like I've never crashed. You were out of the car yeah. for three seconds before they. Yeah, that out. was yeah. the. That you was were out, and the, out, someone was yelling thing. Jimmy before your foot touched. I don't know if this is gonna be a surprise you on the show tonight. I know. Yeah. Was that fun or terrifying? That's what you should have been like. Yeah, you just knocked that off. I'd see a mix of both. Yeah. That was yeah. really Which is what tight. You want. It mean, looked like people were going to jump from the balconies of the front yeah. of the house. Or even just fall off those old balconies. Yeah. Bounds. And it was also fun to walk up to a sergeant yeah. who was telling a kid, like, this is going to roll out of hand. Yes. And I'm going to come back and shut you down if X, Y, and Z. And I'll walk up and go, hey, Jimmy Fallon's about to crash. <laughs> 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 and then the kids. <laughs> I went on before Fallon in my hometown, and I got a nice pop, and I'm like, yeah, that's right. Get, come home and feel real good. And then uh, Julian goes, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy Fallon. And I was like, oh, that's what they sound like when they're excited. It was so, everyone stood up immediately before you could see them. They were like, man, he better be coming, because we're all up. And it was amazing. It was, I had adrenaline and I'm not even a part of that. And then when we went up at the end with him, you, 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 you like chemically, you're shaking. It's, it's, an, it was insane. It was kind of hilarious, it was kind of hilarious to see how like fully polite but unimpressed they were with the opener intros, the intros. They were just like, yeah. All right. And we just didn't know they had that kind of energy in them. It, it was like it was like 10 times what I could have expected for excitement. The sound that the crowd made cuz I was on the stage waiting for him to come up right. and then when they saw him so I was really the only one besides Jimmy who knows what that sound feels like in the center of it all. And I remember thinking I'm hugging Jimmy and I'm feeling the sound and I go, that's the sound that would like make me feel better for the rest of my life. <laughs> and it and it's not for me. <laughs> that's so that's so brutal. Albany, sometimes when you do this job you get to meet really cool people and uh, that's the case tonight for me. I'm so excited to bring out your next guest. Please put your hands together for Jimmy Fallon.
I'd rather be on a Saturday night in the first week of March than the tropical paradise that is Albany, New York. I love Albany. Nate Bargatz is going to come out in a couple minutes, but I just want to say I've known Nate for about 12 years. Uh, I went to go see him at a comedy club. I said, who is this kid? He's got such a great delivery. And I go, he's something different. I go, we got to have him on the show. We had him on the show. He goes, thanks so much for having me because I'm trying to sell out tickets to this comedy club. I got 100 seats. I'm trying to, I go, well, I hope it works out for you, man. Great. Came on the show, did well, then I watched him grow, and watched him work, came back on the show. He goes, now I'm doing theater, so I'm trying to sell out 500 seats, so thanks so much for having me. I go, great, I, I hope it works out for you. <laughs> I watched him grow, watched him work, now he's selling out arenas. <laughs> and he won't come on my show. So I have to come to him and I hope it works out for me. <laughs> I, uh, I'm very familiar with Albany. I got my comedy start here in Albany. And I love this, I love this town. I went to the College of St. Rose. Rosebuds! What happened? What the hell happened? My school, if you haven't heard, is going out of business. <laughs> They're going out of business. Well, uh, St. Rose will be no more. They're going out of business. I'll, in a few years, I'm going to tell my friend, where'd you go to school? I go, you know that Spirit Halloween on Western <laughs> Avenue? <laughs> my computer science class was between the Jason hockey mask and the puppet from Saw. <laughs> I love you too. I love that school. I had so much fun. I, uh, I, I, I did drop out. I dropped out of that school with 13 credits, I gotta be honest. But it was a communications degree, so really, come on, give me a break. It's not even a real degree. Uh, but I remember going on late night, and I called them, and I go, hi, St. Rose. Uh, I go, are you going to offer me like an honorary degree? Is this? And they go, well, you have 13 credits left. I go, yeah. And they go, well, we think you should come back to St. Rose and finish your credits. I go, I think I've communicated pretty well. <laughs> so I'm not coming back and taking class. And so they gave me an honorary degree. I got my doctorate in humane. I'm a doctor. But I'm a doctor no more. My school doesn't exist. I have a fake degree from a school that doesn't exist. What the hell is going on? I went to an invisible school. I went to Hogwarts, basically, is what happened. I dropped out, but guess what? So did they. So, you know, I feel like we're even. I went back to campus today. I went down. I went, I went walking around. I looked at it. I loved it. I, I got my start there, uh, St. Saint, Saint Joe's Auditorium. Uh, I used to go with my, my, my buddy Frank Gentile, and we used to write uh, in our laundry room and work on a set. And I said, can I do a show for you guys? And St. Rose was like, yeah. And so I really did get my start here in Albany, and uh, I loved it so much. I walked around, I had so many good memories here. I remember going to, uh, what was it, L Lark something, Lark, Lark Fest? Yeah, Lark Fest. I used to go to Lark Fest, and shout out to Lark Fest, great, and uh, whatever band was there, Perfect Thyroid, whatever they were called, uh, I don't know, all these weird names, Albany names. Uh, <laughs> Metroland knew who they were, but nobody else knew who they were. Shout out to Metroland, yeah, I worked there too. Shout out to Troy. Um, I, 
I remember going to Lark Fest and we're so poor, we didn't have any money for beer. And my friend had a sign that said, I will let you punch me in the stomach for a beer. <laughs> and it worked. Uh, <laughs> and it just kind of started to get a little scary when we started asking him for beers. You know, he's like, oh, I guess I'll take another hit for you. And they said, like, oh, you know, and then, then we wanted a keg and uh, I'll kick him in the groin for a shot. I mean, come on, we want something else here. I'm a drinker, uh, Irish people are drinkers, uh, I'm Irish, and uh, yeah, I know it's stereotypical, but it's true, we like to drink, we, that's all we have, I mean, we, we, what, do you, what do you want us to cook? We're not, we can't cook, Irish people, we have no cuisine, I, Irish people, we, we boil everything. What is it? Boil it. It's a potato, boil it. Oatmeal, boil it. Corned beef and cabbage? Put it together and boil it. Yeah, and you go, well, that doesn't make sense. I didn't graduate. What do you want me to do? I got my degree from the Spirit Halloween. What do you, what do you, they gave me the honorary degree immediately. <laughs> Guys, before I go, I really just want to say that finally, uh, thank you so much to Albany. I love you so much. Uh, I, I thank I thank all the great places I, I used to go to. I thank the Partridge Pub. I thank uh, the Copper Penny. I thank uh, uh, LTs or the WTs, the Lamp Post, uh, uh, Mile Wallies. Uh, <laughs> I want to thank uh, Metroland, uh, Peter Island, Steve Tebow, Danny Martinez, Lee Mahal, uh, everyone at the College of St. Rose, Rosebud Forever. I love you guys. Uh, thank you so much. I hope you come to me. I love you guys. But it was like Spirit Hero, it's been Halloween work. It worked, it's right? great. Uh, it's good that you came back here, because then you, I think you jog your memory, and when you're when you're envisioning all this stuff too, it makes you like, you're like, I remember this place. And, this place. Yeah. and I was like, dude, I actually, I can't say next time I'm here, hey, I was on campus today. I'm like, I yeah. actually was on campus yeah. today. Yeah. It happened today. Yeah. So it's actually the real thing that we all did. Yeah. So happy that we, that we did it. Man. So happy that we all went and got a... It's a solid step. Dude, you were great. Bro. All right. Oh, oh, you I didn't see it. How was it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm doing jokes. <laughs> All right, oh God, I need. Oh, I gotta watch the tape. Oh my God. There's nothing like this. Dude. I'm sweating. My heart is racing. It's the best. It's so fun. It's, the most, it's just the most fun thing in the world. I felt great. It's the most, it's the purest. Yeah. Because it's new to them. There's and you get an immediate reaction to know if it's good or You may know him as the Tennessee kid. I know him as my friend. Please put your hands together for Nate Bargatze. the guy you wanted to see. <laughs> Who would have thought that? I can do that. That's how I like my shows to go. I'm like, when they come to see me, I want to be a letdown when I go out there. <laughs> we had to bring him back. We let him run around like a dog today. His town. We let him loose. We just said, go. He went in parties, he was at frat parties, he was... <laughs> it is, it, we, it, we're very, it was very fun. You know, I go a lot of cities, and Jimmy has been a giant part of my career. 
obviously. Like, so I owe so much to this guy. And I'm glad that he gets to come out, you know, and like actually be like, look, dude, this is like the stuff that you were a part of where we have gotten. Uh, but it's like, uh, he could have picked anywhere. He chose, we went to Syracuse last night and Albany. Those are his two that he picked. And this was, Syracuse was the practice for tonight. I thought he would, uh, you know, I figured like we ain't done comedy a while, so it's not going to be that good, so it'll be easy after. Uh, and he just murders. <laughs> I'm like, I'm back there like, this is a little better than I really wanted it to go. That's not good, right? Weekend on the Be Funny tour. I mean, hopefully, uh, I, I, I've never hung out with funnier people. It was the most fun thing. It reminded me of getting back out there and doing stand up and being creative and writing and talking about funny things and just uh, hanging around really funny people, pros, professionals. Uh, you know, to be on the road with four headliners, you know, five headliners. They're done. It's just, it's, it's a different energy. It's so fun. And I'm so lucky to uh, be, be here this weekend. Hopefully they, they have me back. Uh, yeah, I loved it. And then, it's a really solid set. It's good. And great. like that bonnet, I mean, that thing just got so long. And so I think next time you come, like it'll be even longer. But yeah. it's perfect, because you just mm -hmm. pop up there. And I don't know if people expect you to be doing straight, I mean, they know you did stand up, but you always like did a guitar, you always did stuff. And so like, just go up there with no guitar, like that's a, that's a, it's a lot, dude. You know. don't, don't act like I didn't second guess it down to the last minute. I go, ah, maybe I'll do the guitar. Mm -hmm. I know, but you can do it. I don't, you know, yeah, it's not you, but I think it is good for you for these first few to be like, you're going up there without it. So then you're, now you're going to be so confident in these jokes, and then you add that to it, it's like, it's going to be mm -hmm. ridiculous. I didn't do any impressions. I was like, I'm not going to do impressions or thank, yeah. thank you notes is my only little crutch. I, but I mean, they, that's. You're gonna do those. Yeah. And then of course I screwed it up, I couldn't even read. Yeah. So I couldn't even read off my phone. The jokes are written already, I couldn't even read it. And I messed it up and then I go, well what do you want? I didn't graduate. Yeah. And then called it back yeah. to, oh, yeah. the, the thing that we talked about this afternoon when you're like, uh, I already got my honorary degree from Spirit Halloween. Yeah. 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 They didn't even think, they didn't think, but they didn't hesitate for a second. They yeah. gave me one. Yeah. yeah. Now you're going to have to mess up that thank you note every time yeah. and do all those lines. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, it was like funny, I was listening to you, I was like, you can tell you're like it's like a chain trying to catch on, and it wouldn't grab. It wouldn't catch on. Pretty soon you got to abandon it. Yeah. Yeah. You go, like, that's enough. I go, that one's enough. You go, yeah. yeah, you understand. I messed that one up. Yeah, yeah. I go, what do you want? I'm not educated. I don't get my degree. Uh, uh, but dude, it felt good. Also, also to just talk about what we did today and going yeah. to the school yeah. and walking around because if I make that up next week. It didn't happen yeah. Yeah. next week, and it wouldn't happen in a month. Yeah. It actually happened today. It actually, is something that you know, the internet makes everything real because they're like, "Dude, check the internet." Yeah. I, we yeah. did it today. Yeah. You ch check check the internet. Yeah. yeah. I don't care. And then we, I, don't I don't care. I don't care. We can go Shady Hills. I don't care. Shady Acres. <laughs> you don't do Shady Acres. I don't, I don't care. care. Uh, then some dude like started like yeah, you, uh, do the something or whatever. I did not hear what he yelled. Did you, did you hear it? <coughs> I didn't hear what he was yelling. And then you got the egg and car egg and keg. Egg and keg, egg dude. And keg. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> Go up. He just came back from the egg. He got made up. I mean, what a great reference to like shuts. I was like, yeah. It just couldn't be a better name. Yeah, it's a name. The town knows it. Like mm -hmm. people get drunk. It's like just such Perfect. a like oh you got the old egg and keg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like. 
When you were listing all the old businesses, I was wondering if you were going to start listing, you just make up weird ones and throw them in there. Uh, of see. course, I was thinking about throwing in like a Smirky's Place or something, yeah. but I was like, no, but I go, I think this one, like... Smirky's Place? Yeah, I go, but if I just keep naming actual real things, like, I, yeah. because well, I thought maybe people thought, like, like say, like, oh, the egg, you know, uh, mm. the, the, the Albany Museum, the, uh, you know, instead of, they're all bars and uh, hot wing places. Well, that's what's... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. They're like, and you dropped out? Well, yeah. Yeah, I think, hey, man, you dropped out? Yeah. I go, I want to thank all the places that made me who I am. You know, they're all Parsons Pub. <laughs> I named it, dude, and they're all legit. You people are like, Copper Penny, yo, that's closed down. That's old school. That's like real deal. Uh, there's a couple Are any of yours open that you said? Pritchard's? Is that one open? Parch- Partridge? No, uh, no, no I, think, closed. Yeah. I think they're all closed, dude. I mean, but Partridge Pub got a okay, huge. They got a huge. They loved that one. So yeah. it's been around for average Partridge Pub. Yeah, so maybe people know that. Yeah. You can't save St. Rose, but maybe you can save the Partridge Pub. Maybe bring that back. You know? That's what you talk about. You, you put all your money in there. Like, put all. <laughs> you didn't save our school? You know? Yeah. <laughs> save the Partridge Pub. Partridge Pub is doing pretty good. <laughs> There's a couple. Of course, I'm like, oh, well, I didn't mention bogeys or. Sal's Pizza. Oh, there. Let's they're, go back out there. They're talking about sure. that on Twitter right now. They are. They're like, why didn't he bring them? All the ones he did. Yeah. yeah. You would have appreciated one of the girls at the frat party came over and was like, where did he go to school? We were like, did he go to here? We were like, College of St. Rose. And she was like, you know that's going out of business, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you got to go to the show tonight. <laughs> Boy, is it going out of business. Wait, uh, so those kids didn't go to that school? I think it's probably SUNY. Oh, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Because they seemed was, pretty happy, and I was like, do they not know that their school yeah. is going out of business? Well, they're SUNY, I think. And I think they're hoping that SUNY buys St. Rose oh. campus. That would make sense. SUNY. It wasn't SUNY today. Am I right, guys? No. It was, it was rainy. rainy. Uh, you know, it wasn't SUNY. Oh. I didn't get that one. I, I got it. I was right with you. I didn't Thank you. Yeah. I still don't get it. It took me a while. Yeah, even though you got it. I, I got it. it. <laughs> then I lost it. Uh, it's and that working was intentional. I want that to be clear. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the, the joke turned out better too. Where I go like, and, and then Nate did the show, and then the thing, and yeah. then now he's doing arenas, and now he won't do the yeah. show anymore. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So okay. I have to come yeah. to him. Yeah. Hopefully my career. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Hopefully Hopefully out for me. For me. Yeah, yeah. It was oh, great. Oh, that's funny. Which is almost out. your type of delivery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I no, stole. that worked out great. I stole. Yeah. Hope it works out for me. Yeah, that's kind of my Nate Bargatze. Yeah. I was going to say, I knew Nate so long ago that I was pronouncing it Bargatze mm-hmm. forever. That's how long I'd known Nate. That's when yeah. his name used to be Bargatze. It used to be, yeah. yeah no, it'll, go, it'll go back to that. It goes back. He yeah. changed it. Once you say it back to Bargatze, it goes back. Yeah, sometimes it's... When he got more famous, he wanted to sound less Italian, less ethnic, so now he's Bargatze. But now he's selling cookbooks and stuff <laughs> yeah, with yeah. his dad. There's dad. He wants to make sure that everyone knows his... Then he'll be back to Bargatze. 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 Your name is Nate Bargatze. Yeah. All right. That's when he does Vegas as an old man, and he's like, you know, give it for Nate Bargatze. And he's... Hey, Nate I'm like, just point me to the stage. And then then you're... Rattle yeah. off the greatest hits. <laughs> <laughs> so what are y'all doing? Turn me east. <laughs> <laughs> Turn me. Uh, but then I also liked you. Like, yeah, he kind of did. He did kind of better than I kind of wanted him to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just, it's funny, dude. It's like funny people being funny. I don't know. Well, that yeah. Which everyone gets. It's like yeah. Because you're afraid. You're like, oh, is someone gonna think I'm mean if I say like Nate will never do my show. Now he doesn't do my show anymore. Yeah. They know that we're joking. Yeah. Well, I thought that too, because I thought of like saying when I went up and I said, who ever thought the guy you came to see was a letdown? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I love that. And so I was like trying to, I was like, I wonder how I can say that. But I didn't want like a cheer, like a sympathy cheer. Like, oh, yeah. no, no, we still No, said, you like, gotta laugh. Yeah, you gotta laugh. So I mean, I was like trying to, I was like, I gotta word this in a way like, I'm not making fun of you. It's like, you're just making fun of the, you know, just joking about the situation, just all fun. And it came out good. Yeah. But if, I think first, you said I was that's like, what I want. I want yeah. people to come to my show. That's yeah, yeah. I was like, this is what I and have me be the letdown. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what else I said tonight? I don't know. Uh, that was new. I said about the fight thing, the four forty two fight. Mm-hmm. I said fights. Uh, uh, fights in a marriage are like wildfires. Like it doesn't take much to get one going. Oh, that's, oh, that's good. That's great. Yeah. yeah, and I said it on the four forty two because it's saying our fight was dumb. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was the first time I think I've ever on stage like come up like in my head I'm like. 
Yeah, hit a home run right there. I go, look at that. That just hit a dinger, dude. That just hit a dinger that last one. You got a little joke. That's a real joke right there. You got a little joke there. Yeah, that's a real joke right there. You told a joke in your ass. Oh my god. Yeah. Were you next to me when uh, Julian was about to go into the uh, Albany Firewolves bit? Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> the funniest thing. So yeah. he goes, all right, so screw it, I'm not even going to yeah. do this bit because I thought you clearly you guys don't even know about there's logos all over like, How about the Firewolves yeah. and nobody made any noise? Yeah. It was like six people. And I go, do you guys not know that that's who plays here, the Firewolves? <laughs> Well, and they were like, what? And the other part of it was that I had mentioned the firewolves. No, you said firebirds. He yeah, said firewolves I said firebirds. I said firewolves, and then I said firebirds. Oh, and then he said firebirds? both. Gotcha. Lacrosse and uh, AF, uh, AFL football. Oh. Well, they take oh. the thunder out, you know. <laughs> well, I think, I'm saying, I think that, I think, I think they were like, yeah, he already talked about the firewolves. I think that's Oh, so it was, it was for, yeah, it was. Give it up more time for the wet blanket. <laughs> Way to put out a firewall split. Yeah. Thank you. Hello. Hey. 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 Good hanging out with you guys. He's back from Sunni. <laughs> <laughs> like, eggs like, and kegs. You know, eggs and kegs, baby. I feel like the uh, the fire metaphor could be extended to the analogy. Yeah. Either you about how like you know you ever twice a year you have to make sure there's not too many trees. You got to clear out the trees. To, I feel like that analogy could be. I don't, I don't want to go down a 45 minute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, like a, a smoky, the could, new Smokey the Bear. If yeah. you want to write for Taylor Tomlinson, just say so. That's, <laughs> she does elaborate analogies. Yeah. She's. Love to write for Taylor Tomlinson. <laughs> She's not going to watch this. <laughs> Why don't you look in the lens like, she's never going to see this. It's our a, it's a submission to Taylor. <laughs> I'm trying to get him off this tour so I'm going to tell you. Please take yeah, Joe. Let me talk to Taylor. Taylor, you're awesome. Come on. Yeah, throw us a bone. You send her an email and you go, please go to minute 3612. Yeah, that's <laughs> so you can care about. Like, hey, Taylor, I know you write your own stuff, but can you just let him think he's writing his own <laughs> I got a lot of analogy feedback. I'm like a blank and a blank on analogies. Get it? Yeah. That's pretty good. That was good. Cow lick. Same team, Joe. By the way, you extra combed your hair tonight. Yeah. Don't even think we didn't notice. I got a haircut tonight. Yeah, exactly. What'd you right. do? Cut it out? <laughs> exactly right. Did you cut his calic out? He did a, hair, he did a calic prank on me. And you then can't. He, and then yeah. you cut it. If you could, there's more you cut it, but did you shave it down to his head? That was so funny. Him saying that last night. Just go, is that like part of your thing? <laughs> did that stick in your head? Yeah, it had to. Of yeah, because he's extra combed would, his hair. Yeah. Well, I go, dude, look at his hair. It's extra yeah, combed. Yeah, he walks out of the thing and goes, look at I wasn't, I wasn't thinking look at about Joe's it, hair. just so you be fair. I did it. I go, look, like, I go, look, I, was, yeah. I, was, I was looking, so I was, gonna, I was looking for the cow. We should, I go. we should let people, the context is that last night some people came up to us that were at the show and they asked they Joe. They said, is your hair on purpose? They said, is your hair on purpose? Your, pair, uh, your hair was very funny. It was part of the act. Uh, you were talking about birds. I thought he your meant, hair kind of looked like a bird. All was like to one nest. half is what I thought uh, they meant. I was already laughing. Yeah. We, I laughed as soon yeah. as they said mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Then I felt bad because nobody laughed. So I was like, oh, maybe, I went, maybe they were serious. And they weren't. They were serious. Yeah. Well, then that, then that turned then I don't up. Understand then that it turned up for more. Yeah. Mike, Mike lost it and <laughs> the idea that it was. But you thought that his he styles his hair just for that part of the. Well, it's it's part of it was his, like part of the yeah, whole like it's part of the look. I'm into birds, like a like a bird man walking like, oh. up, going boo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah. a bird watcher. <laughs> that's the vibe. <laughs> that's the vibe that he gives off. So they go. Obviously, he doesn't know about his hair in the back. He just got out of a lab. Yeah. I like it's an and, uh, or the beaker. He had a beaker knock over his that what they're called. Yeah. 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 That was really funny. Dude, yeah. To never mention my hair and be like, was that hair a bit? Was that a bit you were doing? Uh, wait, so that, 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 and I was so convinced. By the way, I mean, said, I, just, after they did that, I said, I would not survive that. I would yeah. be so upset. Oh, oh man. Yeah. He was he, laughing yeah. it off, but I would have been well, like, It is funny to go see you up there tonight with just the Ooh. tightest haircut. <laughs> 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 Oh yeah, it was the tightest haircut. Yeah. I never. I go. Oh, he looks like a GQ model. Sure. Yeah. They really extra slicked back in the back. Mm-hmm. Go, and you made it look. Oh, I guess his hair is like that on purpose mm-hmm. again. I, it's the first time I've ever triple checked my hair before going on stage. Yeah. So. Uh, I, I do want to say Dan Sass was one of my favorite things. I, I love that we're from corporate. And then today's whole day was wow. William Tell overture. It oh. lasted longer than I thought. Oh. And then I was like, hello? 
That was a good one. You gotta call back everyone's sleeping. <laughs> you fall asleep to the loudest music. That was unre- next, no, I mean, David, Tell. David Tell. The speaker. Full blast. I mean, it was I, comforting. It was a comedy show where someone has legendarily killed harder than anyone we've ever heard yeah. on a com- on a radio yeah. on a album. Yeah. And that's what he fell asleep to on level nine on a speaker. Yeah, next to his head. Oh, uh, this far from his head. <laughs> and none of us are turning it off because like, I guess Jimmy's into this. Yeah. And I was like, I couldn't see your head, but I could see your arm. And I was trying to see if it was I like... I was watching him laugh yeah. until he stopped. And then I was like, did he just... Yeah. I was in disbelief that he fell asleep. I know. And then yeah, I see, I'll just see Joy and go... <laughs> yeah. When you turn off the volume. Well, I know I didn't need to ask you two if you yeah. were done. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, well who, who closed the uh, steel security door, by the way? Because they didn't tell me what that was or how to get the f out of there. Probably. I got Wait, up what? and I was trapped. In, there's, a, there's some oh, giant did. wall that was there that wasn't there when I went to sleep. <laughs> and I'm like, what the f is going on? I go, That's where great. am I? Then I'm like, what? And then I'm like, do I slide it? Do I, do I push it? Do I lift it? Do I pull it? I'm pulling, I'm feeling like a moron in pitch black for a handle. And I'm like, what in the, tiny what do I do? Like now I'm up for, for my pee and I can't pee. I go, I'm going to have to use Nate's bathroom. But then Nate walled me in too. So I walled in because Nate's nervous that I'm going to wander. That I'm going to wander into his bedroom. So no, then I didn't want to wake you guys up because you're in your accordion boxes. So you just pee in, in, your, you just pee in your bed? No, I, I, I had to really think about the situation. And then I go, yeah, go Jimmy. You gotta talk to yourself. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, do, I gotta defuse this bomb. It's like Mission Impossible. Yeah. And then I'm like, I'm gonna just touch a touch screen or touch thing, and then something lit up, and I'm like, D S so D front S something with some technical stuff. I didn't program this button. If I did, I would put door open, door close, yeah. Yeah. something that humans could read. Yeah. But this is in code. It's like XL one thousand or XL one thousand nine. And I go probably nine would be maybe open, thousand would be closed. I go, I press the thing and then like get smart. It goes, and I, oh my god. Then it went. Then I pee and then it came back in. Then my light. I go, I was looking at your uh, shoebox beds, and I was looking, yours was dark and comfy. Yeah. Mine had like a flashlight over my thing. <laughs> yeah. Like there was a, uh, uh, well, maybe you, a, like that Titanic, this is what would happen with the, when the Titanic started going down. A light went on, it was I go, it was like a beaming, you know, like, a, like some light that you'd snap and, and put in like a neon rave light over my face. And then I go, and the only thing next to that was a red ring light, which red means emergency to me. It doesn't yeah. mean off. Like, I wouldn't touch a red button. Right. And I go, all right. And I go, well, I'm just You're, like, waiting for what's going to happen. And, again, I started feeling around the ceiling because I'm in my coffin. I'm in my bed coffin. And I'm in the thing, and I'm, I'm going like that. And I'm going, how do I turn this light off? And then I just, by mistake, pressed the red button, and the light went off. I go, and then I go, maybe I can close the accordion wall. <laughs> Thing, and I closed, and I realized that's a magnet that also no one told me. So no one told me how to turn my light off, how to open the door. That there was going to be a wall, by the way, a surprise wall was there, and uh, I had the greatest night's sleep ever. Thank you, and David. You Tell. The light. You woke up with the light on. Yeah, you I, fell asleep yeah. with a spotlight on your face I mean, so and David right. Tell screaming in your when, ear, when I, when and you were like, the volume, the volume of the of the speaker and the the brightness of the light and you being so asleep I was like does he have some sort of sleeping disorder I thought so too out? I was like trauma he's yeah. got trauma no I just, I was, just was happy it made me happy and I was safe and I'm in this like dark box and it was yeah. cozy and I went did I snore no no well we couldn't hear it I did. <laughs> the music was too David yeah, Tell was David too loud, too loud. <laughs> I did close the door and I apologize for that it's the funniest thing ever we had to crawl up and find the button to open yeah. Such a small dark space. To but you think trapped. someone yeah. would go, hey, by the way, before you go to sleep, here's how you turn your light off. Here's how you close the thing with a magnet. Here's the door open thing because they've been on the bus. Yeah, it was bad, but now it's not both ends. Yeah, that's an eight thing to communicate out. That's true. How were the pajamas? That is true. They were I good. loved them. They were not yeah. bad, right? Yeah. Well, they were awesome. We were all wearing pajamas last night, matching awesome. pajamas. We have no photos of it, but. Yeah, I know. We should. We should well, we could do it tonight. Oh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna hitchhike this way. My dad okay. would do it, and so I'm just gonna hitchhike and go to see the see the sights. I wouldn't take a private plane or anything. Stupid, stupid. Punks. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Chase. And they got to walk to. You got to go. To the <laughs> Thank you. Bring it to you. To, to you. Make a wish. Good luck. Come to go. Come on. Yeah.
that's the only thing. No, we're good, buddy. Good night. No, we're good. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks. Thank you so much. Dude, this is the most fun. I had the best weekend ever. Thank you for everything. Thanks for the tour of us. Thanks for um, putting up with me. Thanks for uh, giving me jokes. Thanks for trying stuff. And then thanks for going to my old school. Uh, thanks for going to a frat party. Dude, we went to a frat party in the afternoon. We had the uh, eggs and kicks. We had the most fun. Eggs and kicks. We had the most fun that you could possibly most. have. Yeah. And we beat the weather, which is even genius, too. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> and I learned great. how to play Grego. Grego. Which I'd never played. And uh, maybe we'll play and a little. You destroyed. No, I didn't. That's the fun I part. did really well. Oh, no, oh stand up. Yeah. Oh, I think in Grego. No, I lost no, in Grego. Yeah, yeah Grego. Terrible. Yeah, but. No, but the, stand up. Dude, this is it. I was like, this is my third time doing that act. And. It's just gonna get better and better it's and better and better. I'm tightening it down, slicing it down, but all the all the stuff helps. I had so much fun. I can't thank you enough. And no, we honestly, loved it. dude, what a good crew of people, and it was awesome. Yeah. And whoever's watching this, thanks for watching. I mean, this is a long video. Yeah. It's I mean, a long video. Really cut stuff down. It really is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I would have bailed. Yeah, yeah, thank you. If I was right. watching this, yeah. yeah. But at least put a thumbs up, like and subscribe, smash that like button. You know, all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and exactly, and this, and look, I'm playing, you know, on, you know, just, just for in the future when I'm playing oh, a gig. I'm oh, booking, yeah. I'm, I'm, you can just fill in the Fill in the date. Yeah, date exactly. Yeah. Uh, let's go, uh, let's go have let's some go food see. and, uh, yeah. Thanks for coming. Great. We loved it, buddy. You're the best, buddy. Thank you.